Should you upgrade to the new Apple Watch Series 10 or shouldn't you just buy the Series 9 for about 130 bucks cheaper? Or of course, we also have the Ultra 2 that has a bunch of upgrades as well. So in this video, we're gonna compare them to see every single little difference to help you decide which one to get. All right, I'm super excited for this because this is actually my own personal Apple Watch Series 10 that I bought because of that jet black with this really, Nice band, let's get this thing opened up. Based on everything that Apple showed at their event, honestly, this is probably one of the best upgrades since like the Series 4 major redesign because man, it is impressive. Ooh, look at this, matte black paper. Come to papa. Whew. Oh, 46 millimeter. I like that they made it a little bit bigger and dang. That's dark. Look at that jet black. Look at that. Hey, you can see me in the reflection. <laughs> Dude, this is so nice. Right okay, guys, can you see this? That is so black. This is the Midnight. Series 9 came in like the really weird Starlight and Midnight. I'm so glad that's gone. It was so odd. But look at how much blacker it is than the uh, kind of like really dark blue Midnight. This is like pitch black Midnight. Of course, I got the matching band, the blackest one. I could get, this is the slate, I believe. Ooh, because of all like the shiny metal, it doesn't really look that black. I think I'm gonna have to get a different one, guys, but uh, this is the slate. On second thought, guys, I actually kind of like it. It's kind of got some bling bling to it. <laughs> nice reflective. Dang, this, this Series 10 is nice and thin. I mean, I'm used to wearing the Super Thick Boy Ultra. Look at that. I feel like it could put on like any sweater I want without it snagging. This is nice. But the one thing I'm super excited about is the new charger because this thing charges it up to, I think 80% in only 30 minutes. That's the fastest charging ever. And you actually can't even get that on the Ultra 2, even the new one, the new black version. You can only get that on the Series 10. And whoa, this looks different. This does not look like a regular puck. It's like, I don't know, extra Thicker? thick? Yeah, I think yeah. so. I'm excited to get some insanely fast charging speed faster than anything else with this. And speaking of charging, no matter which Apple Watch you have, this right here saved our butts on a recent trip to Berlin, Germany for IFA, being by far the most portable three-in-one Qi2 charging station that I've ever seen from our sponsor, Kushu, the X40Q, which features the fastest five watt charging you can get for the Apple Watch from zero to 80% in 50 minutes in a genius trifold design that unfolds into a very solid charging station with rubbery grip on the bottom, which stays nicely put, and also includes full speed Qi 2 15 watt charging for your iPhone, as well as full five watt charging for your AirPods, making it the perfect travel companion to keep everything charged up and ready to go. It comes in four finishes, gray, titanium gold, full black, and wood grain, and yes, it comes with a 30 watt charging brick in the box, as well as a premium braided USB-C cable, which all fits perfectly into this convenient zip up carrying pouch for travel. So definitely pick one of these up today by using the link in the description below and use code MAXTECH for an extra discount. Now you might notice some scratches on this Series 9 and we actually have to talk about that because it's very important for the Series 10. So let's take these bands off and take a closer look. So I got them laid out right here in front of me. I got the uh, Ultra 2, the new Series 10, whoops, and I have the Series 9 right here. And right away, I can literally see the difference in thickness from my angle, which is pretty nuts. Like the Series 10 is so much thinner. Even compared to the Series 9, I could just see it sitting so much lower. And because of that, it almost feels more like a pancake, which is kind of cool, like a slate design, kind of like an iPad. It's quite neat. And of course, we have this chunky, huge 49 millimeter casing right here with that crazy crown guard and everything. I mean, it just looks crazy compared to the other two. All right, and here, like I said before, you have the scratches on the display. Why is that? Well, it's because it's the less expensive model with the Ion X glass, which is nowhere near as strong as the Sapphire glass, which you get on, let's say, the Ultra and the Ultra 2, which, by the way, just resists scratches for the longest time. Like, this Series 9, I mean, it's been like, what, a year? Scratches all over it. Like, can you see? That's after one year. And the crappy thing is, 
This is the Jet Black, and you can only get the Jet Black with the Ion X glass. If you want the Sapphire, you can't get the Jet Black color, which is the one that I wanted, which is why I bought this less expensive model, even though I already have the more expensive Ultra. And now here you can see the difference in the display size side by side with the Series 9. It looks so much bigger. Just look, it looks like it goes wider. Like that's the biggest difference. It goes wider. It's actually basically just as big as on the Ultra and the Ultra 2. But I feel like what they did this year is they made it a lot wider to get that extra display. And honestly, I'm noticing one of the features that Apple announced, which is the new wide angle OLED. And literally looking at it, especially like an angle like this, it looks so much brighter and easier to read compared to the Series 9. I love that. And you even see that difference compared to the Ultra, which actually doesn't get the wide angle OLED because it's the same Ultra 2 that we had last year. So out of all the displays, I really like the one on the new Series 10. Now I definitely wanna show you some more display differences, but I'm gonna wait until I get these guys on my wrist so it doesn't keep shutting off. But I'm gonna put the Ultra 2 to the side. And now, ooh, look at that, guys. I can instantly tell just how much slimmer it is. Holy smokes. This Series 9 looks like a chunky, thick watch compared to this Series 10. That is absolutely beautiful. Of course, you have the new speaker design, which honestly, it's so subtle. Instead of having this thick, very noticeable bar, where like, honestly, I could already see after a year, a bunch of dust in there. You just have these finely milled, little tiny holes that make up the speaker grill. It looks so clean, you can hardly notice it. Hopefully you guys can see it with jet black being so dang black. And take a look at this, I just discovered something that Apple actually didn't mention, and nobody actually mentioned this. They made the button on the Series 10 a lot bigger. Can you see that? Look at the size difference of that button. It's huge compared to the Series 9, and nobody has even mentioned it. And now that I look at it from the side, because the jet black is so black, I can't even see the fingerprints on it. Whereas I can see them more on the midnight because it's just not dark enough and you can just kind of see the reflections there. Jet black is actually pretty dang nice. And take a look at this. If you look at the crown, look at how the crown kind of has like the metal surrounding it because of how thick the Series 9 is. The crown on the Series 10 literally is like just kind of like edge to edge right up against the metal on the back. That is really cool, it just shows how slim it is. And now looking at the backs, can you guys see a major difference between these two? Well, if you can't, Apple actually completely redesigned this in a totally new way that they've never done before. They've integrated the back into the metal so it's seamless from the front to the back, it's all metal, all the way around here, all the way up to these circular sensors. Whereas on the Series 9 and all the other Apple Watches, you can see there's a seam, kind of rectangular square seam all the way around, so it's essentially two pieces. Well, that is gone, and boy, does the Jet Black look absolutely beautiful. The sensors themselves have not changed. Yes, Apple did add some new features like sleep apnea, but that actually came to the Series 9, as well as the Ultra 2. They all have sleep apnea and a bunch of other features, but I'd say out of all of these, I just love how the Ultra just looks so cool with that slight kind of, uh, what is this What is this color, Max? I don't know, beige's kind of color? Just such a nice touch. I love how the Ultra 2 looks, especially with these nice little screw holes right here, um, just looks, Really awesome. And then of course, comparing it to the Ultra 2, you can see that the Ultra 2 has this cool little crown guard with a more pronounced little side button, a much larger crown. I mean, look at the difference on the crown. It's like twice as big. Really, really cool. Of course, the display section here sticks out. And then on the side here, you can see the Ultra 2's huge speaker grills, which I am gonna test the speakers now that you can actually play music through the speakers on these. It's pretty cool. And also this orange action button, which you can customize. I really, really like it. You don't get it on the Series 10. And there you go. If you can't choose, you could just do this, have all three. I'm just kidding. This is really uncomfortable, but 
you can see something very, very interesting. They all look great, but when they turn off, you're gonna notice something with the Series 10 that doesn't happen with the rest of them. Look at that, you have this cool animation that updates every single second, which you don't get on the Series 9 or the Ultra 2, the new Ultra 2, only on the Series 10 because it has a brand new display that can refresh one time a second. That's one hertz, which is totally unique to this, which is really, really cool. And not only that, but because of the brand new wide angle OLED, which is I think LTPO3, on the Series 10 compared to LTPO2 on the Ultra 2 and LTPO regular on the Series 9. Because of that, I can see the always on mode so much better. It's brighter from an angle like here. They're all the same. Instantly such a boost. Like I didn't think that would be such a big deal, but it is. I almost like it even more than the actual maximum brightness, which of course the new uh, Series 10 can go up to 2000 nits, while the Ultra 2 can do 3000, but what does it matter if the angular brightness isn't as bright? And now turning on the flashlight, you can see that the Ultra 2 is definitely a lot brighter, but surprisingly, from an angle, once again, the Series 10 looks very, very bright. The cool thing about the Series 10 is that it now gets a depth sensor just like you got with the Ultra 2 as well as a uh, water temperature sensor so that's pretty cool that you get that and Apple also mentioned that they have these new algorithms for phone calls so that you can very clearly hear your voice when using it which makes it really useful for kids that use an Apple watch instead of an iPhone that's actually a pretty big deal now the series 9 does get a bunch of the same features but one thing it does not get is the ability to play music on the built-in speaker which only only the Series 10 and the Ultra 2 get. So let's actually compare the uh, sound quality. All right, take a listen, guys. That's on the Ultra 2. And then this is on the Series 10, man. That's a pretty good speaker. I would say it's almost like matching or maybe even slightly louder than what you have on the Ultra 2. Not too bad considering how thin the Series 10 is and they even made the speaker even smaller. Pretty dang good, you can just walk around and play music on this. And last but not least, there are a couple of feature differences to mention. First of all, we have the new S10 chip in the Series 10, and honestly, because Apple didn't mention three nanometer technology, I kind of feel like the S10 is literally the same chip as the S9, which was new when it came to the Series 9 and the Ultra 2, so it did get some performance improvements, but it seems like the S10 is basically the same chip just rebranded because Apple has a history of doing that. And the last thing to talk about is the battery life. The downside with the Series 10 compared to the Ultra is that you basically get half as much. Apple rates the Ultra 2 at like what, 36 hours of battery life compared to 18. And the really cool difference that not a lot of people talk about is that you actually have less charging cycles with the Ultras because you charge them less often, the battery health actually lasts a lot longer so you can keep it for many more years compared to the regular models that sometimes the battery just kind of goes bad pretty quickly so that's a cool difference. But overall, which one would I choose? Honestly, the Ultra. I mean the Ultra 2. I love this design personally for me because I like big watches. I like having a ton of battery life because I don't use too many apps on my watch. I just want it to last a very long time, which the Ultra does a great job of. Of course, we have that new display technology with the one hertz and all that other stuff. You know, it's all really cool. But when it comes down to it, I think the Ultra is definitely the better option, especially with jet black, you know, having Ion X glass that's going to end up looking like this after a year. I don't really want that. Honestly, even though the Jet Black is cool, I think I'm just gonna return it, keep my current Ultra, maybe just maybe get the new Space Black color. But if you're one of the people that is trying to decide between the Series 9 and the Series 10, I definitely think there are enough improvements with the Series 10, including the larger display, the super thin design that looks so nice, that new wide angle OLED and everything else 
including being able to play music on the speaker, I think the Series 10 is definitely the way to go. Just spend the extra cash, you're gonna have a more future-proofed watch. So with that said, hopefully you enjoyed this video comparison, and if you did, let me know your thoughts down below, and definitely subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.